We've just seen Trump being convicted in the United States. Do you think this changes the calculus for the US election or the path for stocks in the second half? What's your view? Oh boy, that is a wild card, but there are lots of wild cards in this election, of course. There's just so much unusual about this cycle that it's hard to rely on some of the historical precedents. History would suggest we don't want election years generally, you know, no matter who wins, whether it's a Democrat or Republic, they tend Republican, they tend to be pretty good for stocks. So not terribly surprising to see the market doing well, at least so far this year. We think that that you know, positive political backdrop likely continues. But it's going to be chaotic. I mean, not only now do we have a former president who's been convicted of felonies, I'm sure there'll be a long drawn out appeals process and all of that. But it's also very unusual that we just have two individuals who have both been president running against each other. Not totally unprecedented, but uh, very, very rare, of course. And so I don't know how much we can rely on history to guide us through this very unusual election. But I, I can say a couple things. One, just in terms of what it does for Trump's chances of winning the election, that's very hard to predict. I mean, of course, we just got this announcement today that he was uh, indeed found guilty. Uh, and it's hard to say right now if that helps him or hurt him, hurts him. Normally, in a normal historical election, you'd say, well, usually the market celebrates a Republican win, at least a little bit more than a Democratic win, at least in the election year, because this perception right or wrong, and I think in some ways wrong, that Republicans are going to be better for the economy, better for markets with less regulation and less, ta less taxes. So normally you'd say, well, a Republican winning would be good for the markets and the perception for the economy would be more positive. I don't know how much that applies this time around, just because there's not a lot of surprise to either of these candidates at this point. And so uh, I don't want to give you a dissatisfying answer on a Friday, but I do think there is so much unique and unusual about this election that you can almost throw some of the historical precedents out the window. What I do know is that there's almost nothing getting done in Washington, D.C. these days, and that's the type of environment that stocks tend to like. And so I think generally that gridlock is good for the market. And would Biden be better? Would Trump be better? Um, really hard to say at this point.